hypothesis testing of the population proportion using a normal approximation for a large sample. In a multiple choice paper, a candidate has to select one of four possible answers to each question. So the probability of just guessing the answer would be one chance in four or a quarter. A paper has 100 such questions and a student gets 34 correct. We're going to test at the 5% level of significance whether the student is guessing. If the student is guessing, then the proportion answered correctly should be a quarter. So H0, the null hypothesis, the population proportion is a quarter. And if the student is not guessing, then the proportion should be greater than a quarter. X is a random variable which represents the number of correct answers. X follows a binomial distribution. There were 100 questions and the probability is a quarter. There are no tables for n equals 100 available in the OCR formula book at least so we have to use a normal approximation. This is the approximation distributions triangle and we're interested in going from the binomial to the normal. So let's see if these two conditions are met. n times p, this is n, this is p, multiply these two together so we get 25. And that value is more than 5, so that condition is met. n times q. q is the probability of failure, so q is 3 quarters. So 100 times 3 quarters is 75, so this condition is also met. The mean of the binomial distribution is 25. And the variance of the binomial distribution, so n times p times 1 minus p, is 18.75. Our test statistic is 34 because we're looking for an increase in the binomial distribution. We would have worked out the probability that x is greater than or equal to 34. So we apply a continuity correction to px greater than or equal to 34. We subtract a half, so we n we're now looking for the probability of greater than 33.5 using this normal distribution. So standardizing the 33.5 using the standardizing formula. So the mean is 25 here. We're dividing by the standard deviation, but this value here is a variance, so we need to square root it. That gives 1.963. We need three decimal places here to use the accuracy of the OCR formula book. So from the normal tables on uh, page 19 of the formula book, 1.96. So that so far gives us this probability. But we're looking for one point. 9, 6, 3. So we need to add 2 to this value. So get 0 0.9752. Because less than half of this sketch has been shaded, we need to do 1 minus to the probability that we've just looked up to give 0 0.0248. We need to compare this probability with our significance level of 5%. 0 0.0248 is less than our significance level, 
0 0.05, so the result is significant. So we reject H0 and conclude that there is significant evidence that the student is not guessing. So in this example, we were doing a hypothesis test for a population proportion. So we started off with a binomial distribution. And because n was large, we used a normal approximation to carry out the test. In a similar way, if we were doing a test on a population mean using a Poisson distribution, and this condition is met, we can use a normal approximation to carry out the test. The Poisson tables have a maximum value of lambda as 19. So as an example, we might be starting off with a Poisson distribution for a hypothesis test where lambda is 30, and the approximation will give us a normal distribution with a mean of 30 and a variance of 30. Yeah, the Poisson mean and variance are equal. So we have 30 here and 30 here. And then from here onwards, you can do um, uh, the method similar to what you've seen in this example.